Hi, boys and girls. Happy Friday if you're doing this on the Friday. Today we're going to be working on practice pages 374 and 375. So I would like you to get your journal out. Pause the video if you want some time to go get your journal out, get a pencil, and then we're going to get ready to start. I'm going to walk through each section with you and read the directions. And on a section or two, I might do a couple of examples for you. So let's get started. Over here on page 374, I'm going to read the directions. They say, figure out each of these and use a ruler to draw a straight line to the matching difference. So when it says figure out each of these, it's talking about these subtraction equations on the right and on the left. These are the problems that you're going to be solving. The answers will be these, okay? So the answers are in the middle right here. You're drawing a line from the equation that you're solving to the answer. And the answer will either be 9, 6, 3, 4, 5, or 8. Okay? The line will pass through a number and a letter. Write each letter above its matching number at the bottom of the page. So let me show you what that means. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to start with the first equation. It says 13 take away 4. Okay, 13 take away 4. I know that 13 take away 4 is 9. I use the think addition strategy for that because I know 9 plus 4 more is 13 and I count it on. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It says to use a ruler to draw the line from here to the answer, from the equation to the answer, just so that you're sure it's super duper straight, so you're passing through the right number and the right letter. If you don't have a ruler, it's not the end of the world, okay? I don't have a ruler, so I'm not going to be able to use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you just have to be very careful at making it the straightest you can make it. So 13 take away 4 is 9, and I see the 9 is right here. So I'm going to draw a straight line from the equation to the answer. It's as straight as I can make it, and it will do. It says we're going to pass through a number and a letter. I sure did. I passed through an S and an 18. So I'm going to come way down here, and I see that 18 is right here, so I put an S because I passed through the letter S. Okay? Let's try another one. 14 take away 6. So, I'll tell you how I did this. I know that 14 take away 7 is 7. So if I'm taking away 6, the answer must be 1 more than 7 because 6 is 1 less than 7. So I know the answer must be 8. Okay? You can solve it however you want to solve it. That's just how I solved it. So this one is one where I'm going to have to be super careful because the 8 is way down here and my equation is way up here. So I have to make this as straight as I can make it. Even actually if you don't have a ruler but you have like a straight piece of paper or anything that you can use to make it straight, you can use that too. But here I go. All right. Not my best work. But I think it will do. I think it's straight enough. And I passed through the letter A in the number 20. So I'm going to go over here to the number 20. And I know that I put a letter A. Okay? And then this is going to spell out a code. 
and our little cat friend says that the differences can be used more than once. There's only six answers here and we have 16 equations, so they definitely will be used more than once. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to go over here. Ongoing practice number one. It says draw jumps to show how you would figure out the total. Then write the total. I'm crossing out where it says draw jumps. You don't have to draw jumps. If you want to, you definitely can, but you can use whatever strategy you want to use to add 28 and 437. Okay? Maybe you want to use blocks. Maybe you want to write out the equation vertically like we do with subtraction. Maybe you want to add 437 plus 20 and then 400 and then that answer, so which would be 457 plus 8, so adding your 10s and then your 1s. However you want to do it, Go, is fine with me. Then number two, it says count back to figure out the difference. Draw jumps to show your thinking. So in number one, we're adding, and in the next two, we are subtracting, which is something we've been doing more recently, so we probably remember how to do it better. Again, whatever strategy you want to use works for me. And then over here, this is something we have not done. These are not polygons. You might think they're polygons, but they're actually not polygons. We'll talk about why eventually, or you will in third grade, I guess. These are 3D shapes. 2D shapes, we know are flat shapes. These shapes are 3D. And the question it's asking us is, how are these objects the same? Look at those two shapes. However you think they are the same, write it down. You can have one way, you can have five ways that you think they're the same. I just want to see your thoughts on how you think they're the same. Okay, good luck.